When science plays with nature, the results are both fascinating and unbelievable, blurring the lines of what should and shouldn't exist. Think you've seen it all? Well, get ready, because today we're diving into the strangest, rarest, and most mind-blowing animal crossbreeds ever created. From creatures that shouldn't even exist to hybrids that will leave you speechless, this is going to be wild. Let's get started. The Rare Jaglion. You won't believe this. There's a real animal that's a mix between a jaguar and a lion. It's called a Jaglion, though some also call it a Jaguan because it's so rare that people haven't even settled on a name. Since both jaguars and lions share a lot of the same genetics, their cubs inherit spots from both parents. But unlike other lion hybrids, male jaglions don't grow a mane. Size-wise, they end up somewhere between the two species. Bigger than a jaguar, but smaller than a lion. Here's the crazy part. There are only two jaglions in the world, and they were born by accident at a Canadian animal sanctuary. Because they're so rare, there's barely any information about them. Zoos often create hybrid animals for attraction, but these two weren't planned. Their parents, a male jaguar and a female lion, ended up having cubs unexpectedly. So for now, these unique big cats remain one of nature's rarest surprises. A fish that's not so special. Not every hybrid animal is exciting, and the greengill sunfish is proof of that. This fish is a mix between a bluegill and a green sunfish, but it doesn't stand out much. Its colors range from blue in the background to dark green on top, but it's not the most eye-catching fish in the water. In fish farms, they can grow up to 12 inches, but in the wild, they usually stay around 5 inches. Even though these fish can breed in the wild, people mostly keep them in ponds or lakes for fishing or as pets. But let's be honest, this isn't the most thrilling hybrid out there. Zonkey, the striped surprise. Zoos are mixing things up and zebras seem to be at the center of it. Ever heard of a zonkey? It's a rare mix of a male zebra and a female donkey. But if the father is a donkey and the mother is a zebra, the baby gets an entirely different name. Donkra or Zedonk. Sounds funny, right? One such Donkra was born in a Chinese zoo, sporting a brown donkey-like body but zebra-striped legs. It was definitely a head-turner and probably helped bring in more visitors. But here's the big question. Should animals be bred just to attract crowds? It might seem harmless, but it raises concerns about the ethics of zoos in general. If we start breeding animals just for looks or novelty, where do we draw the line? Maybe it's time to think about why zoos exist in the first place. The Striped Mystery Animal Ever seen a striped horse? That's a zorse, a rare mix of a zebra and a horse. Most people have never heard of it, but it's real. When a daddy zebra and a mommy horse come together, their baby gets the best of both worlds. The result? A horse-like body with zebra stripes. Zorses often have long legs, a strong build, and big beautiful eyes with long eyelashes that keep dust away. And don't let their good looks fool you, they can kick just as hard as a zebra. But not all zorses look the same. Their size, color, and patterns depend on their parents. Some have bold zebra stripes all over, while others just have a few. One big advantage? Their zebra genes make them tougher against diseases and pests. So while they might not be famous, these striped beauties are built for survival. Fashionable and strong. The Stubborn Hybrid Mules and hinnies might not be the most exciting animals on this list, but they sure are interesting. They don't have the wild looks of big cat hybrids, and they don't come with any superpowers. They're simply the result of a donkey and a horse mixing. Nothing fancy, just nature doing its thing. A mule comes from a male donkey and a female horse, while a hinny is the opposite, a male horse and a female donkey. These hybrids have been around for ages, and while hinnies are rarer, both animals are known for their strength and toughness. But let's be honest, mules have a bit of an attitude. They're much stronger than an average horse or donkey, and they've got an immune system to match. That's the good news. The bad news? They're famously stubborn. People say mules can be impossible to deal with, and maybe that's because they're caught between two worlds, donkey head, horse body, and a personality that doesn't want to listen to anyone. The fish that can't eat. Some fish are born with problems, but this one was created that way. The blood parrot cichlid is a man-made fish, bred by mixing different cichlid species. But something went wrong. 
This fish ended up with a tiny deformed mouth that makes it hard to eat properly. And for a living creature, that's a big problem. Many fish lovers think it's unfair to create an animal that struggles to survive just because it looks unique. This fish is so controversial that some aquarium enthusiasts refuse to buy it, even boycotting pet stores that sell them. But not everyone agrees. Some people love the fish for its odd appearance, with its beak-like head and big eyes. So, is it wrong to mess with nature just for looks? Or is it just another way humans shape the world around them? The giant that shouldn't exist, you won't believe how massive this animal is. The liger, a mix between a male lion and a female tiger, is the biggest big cat in the world, growing up to a jaw-dropping 12 feet long. It's much larger than both of its parents and has features from both, like a lion's golden fur with faint tiger stripes. Male ligers even have short manes, and their roar sounds more like a lion's. But here's the wild part, ligers don't exist in nature. Lions and tigers live in totally different places, so they would never meet in the wild. And here's the real kicker, ligers only exist because humans made them. Whether by accident or on purpose, people have played matchmaker between these two powerful predators. Without human involvement, ligers wouldn't even be a thing. So while they may look like something straight out of a fantasy, they're actually a creation of captivity, not nature. The Mysterious Holfen You won't believe this. There's a rare sea creature that's a mix of two different animals. Meet the Holfen, a rare hybrid between a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. Even though that name sounds fun, its official scientific name, Stenobredonensis, is much less exciting. And here's something surprising. A false killer whale isn't actually a whale. It's a type of dolphin that lives in warm tropical waters, just like bottlenose dolphins. So it makes sense that these two species ended up creating something totally unique. But don't get too excited. While there have been wild holfin sightings, there's no real proof. The only confirmed ones live in captivity. Now here's where things get even wilder. Holfins grow much faster than regular dolphins. And when they reach full size, they can be anywhere from 12 to 22 feet long, weighing up to 600 pounds. Their looks are just as unusual. They have a mix of colors, somewhere between the light gray of a bottlenose dolphin and the black of a false killer whale. Even their teeth are a perfect blend, with 66 in total, right between their parents 88 and 44. It's like nature took two different animals and created a perfect in-between version. Leopon, the wild mix of lion and leopard. This is one wild combination. A leopon is a rare mix of a male leopard and a female lion, creating an animal that looks straight out of a fantasy world. It has the head of a lion, complete with a shaggy mane on the males, but the spotted body of a leopard. The name might sound strange, but the creature itself is stunning. And here's something even crazier. This hybrid doesn't just take on the looks of both parents, it also mixes their behaviors. Leopons can climb and swim, like leopards, but they also have the social nature of lions. However, don't expect to see them in the wild. Even though lions and leopards live in the same areas, they're more likely to fight over food than to create a hybrid baby. That's why leopons only exist in captivity, making them one of the rarest big cat crossbreeds ever seen. Deadly New Predator Something scary is happening in the wild. Coyotes and wolves have been secretly mixing, creating a new animal called the koi wolf. It seems some of them didn't learn the rule about not making babies across species. Now, this wild mix is spreading fast in Canada, especially in cities. And guess what? They're not just staying in the woods, they're showing up in urban areas, making people take notice. If you think regular coyotes are bad news for farms, this new hybrid is even worse. Koi wolves have the hunting skills of both wolves and coyotes, making them more dangerous and better at hunting in packs. They don't just cause trouble, they are expert killers, using their combined instincts to take down prey with deadly precision. The one and only comma. Being the only one of your kind must be lonely, right? That's exactly how it was for Rama, the comma, the world's first hybrid of a camel and a llama. For years, she was the only one until scientists at the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai created more to keep her company. But is it right for humans to mix animal species just because they can? 
People have done it for centuries with dogs, horses, and cattle, so maybe creating a camel llama mix isn't that different. Here's something interesting. Camas are made by breeding a male camel with a female llama, but not the other way around. The goal? To get the llama's soft coat and the camel's strong desert legs. A perfect mix of both. But there's one thing they couldn't change. Both llamas and camels love to spit, so that's one trait that stuck around. The rare geep. You won't believe this. Sometimes, a sheep and a goat can have a baby together. It's called a geep, and it's one of the rarest animal hybrids in the world. Even though sheep and goats look alike and live on farms together, they usually can't have babies. That's because goats have 60 chromosomes, while sheep only have 54, making it almost impossible for their DNA to mix properly. Most geep embryos don't survive, so when one is actually born healthy, it's a big deal. In 2014, a farmer in Ireland witnessed this rare miracle, a real, living geep. It was such a shocking event that he called a TV station to share the moment with the world. The tiny geep looked different from the other lambs, and here's the craziest part, it could run faster than them. Despite being part goat, its mother, a sheep, took care of it just like any other baby. A super fast, one-of-a-kind farm animal? That sounds like something straight out of a movie. The strange story of the beefalo. You won't believe what a beefalo actually is. It sounds like some wild creature, maybe a giant flying buffalo with a stinger. But no, it's just a cross between a buffalo and a cow. The reason? To create lean, tasty beef. Sounds a bit sad for the animal, right? Naming it after the food it's meant to become feels kind of wrong. But that's exactly what happened when breeders mixed a female American bison with a domesticated bull. The result? A meat-producing hybrid that's calmer than a full bison but still carries that wild touch. Here's where it gets even weirder. There's a formula for this mix. A typical beef olive is about 37.5% bison, with the rest being regular cow. No one really talks about how this number is perfected, but let's just say it's probably not a fun process for the animals. If the bison percentage goes over 50%, the creature is called a cattalo instead. Not that they care what they're called, by then all their wild spirit has been bred right out of them. Grolar bears. Polar bears are losing their icy home as the Arctic melts, forcing them to travel farther for food. At the same time, grizzly bears from Alaska and Canada are moving north as their habitats get warmer. This unexpected meeting has led to a surprising new bear, the Grolar bear, also called the Pitsley bear. In the past, these two species never crossed paths, but now, nature is changing right before our eyes, breaking down barriers between them. Unlike polar bears, growler bears don't need sea ice to survive. They can handle warmer temperatures and have a more flexible diet, thanks to their grizzly bear genes. While this new hybrid helps bears adapt to climate change, it also means polar bears may eventually disappear as a separate species. But for now, these unique bears are proving that nature always finds a way to survive. The rare Tigon. Here's something you don't see every day. A Tigon. This rare big cat is a mix between a male tiger and a female lion, which is even less common than a liger, the opposite combination. Unlike ligers, Tigons don't grow to massive sizes. Instead, they stay closer to a lion's size, since their growth is limited by their mother's genes. Their fur can have a wild mix of spots from the lioness and stripes from the tiger, making them look like something straight out of a fantasy world. But here's the strange part. Tigons don't exist in the wild. Tigers and lions live in completely different places, so they would never meet naturally. Some zoos, especially in China, have been known to breed them on purpose, but many people see this as unethical. In the US, a few tigons live in captivity and can sometimes be spotted in big cat centers. But in reality, these hybrids wouldn't happen without human interference. After all, big cats aren't into long-distance relationships. Savannah cats. These cats may look like regular pets, but they have a wild secret. Savannah cats come from mixing a domestic cat with a serval, a wild African feline. Because of their wild roots, they're actually illegal in some places, unless you have a special license. And get this, owners can't just let them roam outside freely. Instead, they have to walk them on a leash like a dog. Imagine the frustration of a natural-born hunter being forced to stroll around on a leash. 
These cats are tall, slim, and look big, but their weight varies depending on how closely related they are to their wild ancestors. The first-generation males are usually the biggest and keep the most wild traits. Savannah cats don't just look wild, they act like it too. They have striking markings, cheetah-like features, and insane agility. They can leap straight up to eight feet in the air, open doors, climb anywhere, and get into places no other cat would dare. Unlike most felines, these cats have no fear of water and might even enjoy a swim. With their adventurous spirit and unstoppable energy, they truly bring a touch of the wild into any home. The Super Cow of the Mountains Ever heard of a cow that's part yak? This animal is born when a regular cow mates with a female yak, creating a strong and sturdy hybrid. If it's female, it's called a Zomo. These animals are super common in Tibet's high mountains, where herders keep large groups of yaks and other hybrids. At first glance, a Zo looks like an ordinary cow, but its thick, shaggy coat and impressive horns give away its yak roots. That warm fur isn't just for show, it's the perfect protection against the freezing mountain weather. Living high in the mountains is tough for regular cattle, but that's where the yak superpowers come in. Yaks are built for extreme heights where the air is thin and the land is rough. When they mix with cows, they pass on this incredible ability, making the zoo even better suited for life in the Himalayas. In fact, these hybrids handle the harsh conditions far better than a regular cow or even a full-blooded yak. The toughest hybrid cow? Meet the Zubron, a super strong hybrid that's basically Poland's version of the American beefalo. It was first created in 1847, but no one really paid much attention to it until after World War I. That's when people started thinking it could replace regular cattle. This powerhouse animal is a mix of a European bison and a domestic cow, making it tougher than both. It resists diseases better than regular cows and, thanks to its bison side, can survive in harsh conditions. But here's the kicker. It still produces tasty meat like a regular cow. Scientists kept experimenting well into the 20th century, trying to perfect the ultimate cow-bison hybrid. But the project hit all sorts of problems, especially with the challenges of the Soviet era. Eventually, the idea was abandoned. Or was it? Some say secret breeding programs might still be happening today, keeping the dream of the Zubron alive in hidden locations. The return of the Iron Age pig? Believe it or not, British farmers have brought back a version of the Iron Age pig. They mixed a rare Tamworth pig, which comes from Ireland, with a European wild boar. The goal? To create a pig that looks like the ones from 10,000 BC. These ancient pigs were believed to have stripes as babies, just like wild boars do. They were also known to be aggressive, but after mixing with farm pigs, the new version might be a little calmer, though not by much. So why go through all this effort? Simple, better tasting pork. While this hybrid isn't an exact copy of the ancient pig since those are long extinct, it's close enough. It's a mix of old and new, a piggy in the middle that gives farmers and food lovers a taste of history. Killer bees on the loose. Some accidents are small, but others create a swarm of deadly bees. Back in the 1950s, scientists in Brazil wanted to make a better honeybee by mixing African and Brazilian bees but things went horribly wrong when the new bees escaped from their controlled environment. These aggressive killer bees spread across South and Central America, attacking anything that got too close. By the 1980s, they had invaded the United States, reaching California, Texas, Arizona, and beyond. These bees are not to be messed with. They are far more aggressive than regular honeybees and will chase people for long distances if disturbed. Their swarms have been known to attack in huge numbers, making them extremely dangerous. So, if you ever see a hive, don't even think about getting close. Some experiments lead to unexpected disasters, and this one created a menace that's still buzzing around today.